Hi, welcome back to the table. Wanted to do a video on Plains Indian Wars from GMT, one of their latest releases. Uh, this is uh, my latest war game that I've been playing. I've been enjoying quite a bit of it. I got another set of uh, games based on this time period, but this one hit the table first, mainly because of ease of play and the way it looks. It, it's a cute pushing game, area control, and uh, I only play the solo mode. That's the only mode I'll play, but there are many scenarios in the solo mode, which I find that was very nice that they put in there. Many ways to play the game. Let me show you in the table. However, rough video. But I just wanted to show you real quick how basically it plays and what it looks. Let's go to the table. Here we are. Plains Indian Wars from GMT. Their latest, one of their latest releases uh, this past few weeks. And one that I've been waiting for. As I mentioned earlier, I missed out on it. Uh, one of you nice guys out there in the community happened to put one up for sale. Uh, didn't gouge me. And I got here in excellent condition. I was actually amazed on the packaging. So I wanted to say all that. I want to thank you for that. And here's the game. I'm going to explain real briefly. This is only going to be, like I said earlier, on the solos scenarios. There are multiple of them. I'm going to explain to you real quick how this game works. There's many videos out there. They do a much better and nicer job than I ever will. This game is not a chip pulling system game. It is a disc pull system. This disc will go into a draw bag. You will blindly pull them, and they will take that faction will take its action. There's the wagons, brown for settlers, green for the northern Indians, Plains Indians, the orange for the southern Plains Indians, blue for cavalry, green, oh, green, that's black for the railroad. This represents the building of the railroad, and purple for the friendly Indian units to the cavalry from the south and from the north up here and uh, and the uh, uh, American player the US uh, cavalry will be playing the purple one as well and the purples play a nice role special role because they'll be attacking from this from either from Mexico or from Canada so you will have the your forces if you are the cavalry player the United States player they will be coming in from St. Louis or in some cases from Sacramento and then we'll be coming in sideways through the railway and you're gonna have your friendly Indians from the north or the south now this game is as I mentioned you're gonna be pulling uh, each of these discs right here and you will be taking the actions it is a cube uh, pushing game you pushing cubes get it cube pushing and area control this is areas here's one for example down here and there are multiple areas through the game uh, let me explain real briefly how it works as soon as your uh, activation comes up if you are the cavalry player every player will have cards to play these are very nice cards I'm glad they did these they're oversized tarot size uh, you're gonna have different cards for example on the cavalry player you're gonna have event cards and engagement cards and these cards have I love the artwork here I actually like realistic pictures on these historic games. This is very close to them. I love the way they did them. I love the blurbs here. And this is going to be the special action that, for example, Nelson Miles would do. Uh, here's an engagement card, which will tell you how many cubes you're going to put, how many cavalry forces, how many groups are going to activate. These are groups right here. Here's, for example, a group here. Here's a group here. Here's a group here. Here's a group there. And how many areas they're going to move. For example this one up to two regions as a region that's a region so on and so on you're gonna have the northern plains they're gonna have their own cards they're gonna have event cards and war party cards and they're gonna work the same exact way the southern tribes same thing event cards and war party cards they work exact same way same artwork and the settlers are basically your workers uh, and they're gonna work the same way this one example instead of events is uh, instead of uh, engagements is migration and event cards and they work the same way same artwork same everything so in your turn depending on the scenarios you're gonna you're gonna have a hand of three cards you're gonna play up to three cards if you can you have to play an engagement card if you have it you have to play that and any event cards that you may want to play the end of the game varies per scenario and I'll go over that when I go over each scenario real quick which is uh, right now before that I will want to point out 
how combat happens. Dice, junky dice. I really like these dice. And the way it works is, like all these games that we're used to, you're going to roll a number of dice determined by the amount of forces, up to a maximum of two. A full force here, up to two. Once you're down to one, you will roll one die. You will roll the dice. Those would be attacks. You're going to have treaty symbols. You're going to have blank symbols. Any scenario will tell you what the blanks would do and what the treaties would do. You'll be able to retreat to friendly areas as with any of these games. Uh, most of the scenarios, uh, the Indians will fight to the end. They will not retreat. So let's, with that being said, let's go over the scenarios real quick. The first scenario in the game is the railroad track. You will be building a railroad track, both the north and the south. You can play either the north or the south. I recommend you just play both sides. It's a little bit longer game, but I think it's funner. They will be trying to stop the movement of the, the railroad, which is be the game timer. Again, you can finish the game on this one by either finishing the railroad and or running out of cards to play. Also on this one, this is the longer one. You're going to have to uh, slow down the spread of the Indian tribes. Uh, you don't want them to concentrate too much because they'll be scoring points. Any area that has four or more, you'll be scoring, they'll be scoring a lot of points. Or even three or more, they'll be scoring some points. So you're trying to stop that. And that's where these guys come and play too. They're going to be attacking from either the south or the north. So that's real briefly the first scenario. The second scenario is when stuff starts getting a little fun. You'll be the, 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 there'll be the wagon trail here. There's the Mormon trail that splits off to the Oregon trail to Oregon or the California Trail down to Northern California, or going through the Southern uh, Indians is the Santa Fe Trail ending in Southern California. Again, on this one, the wagons represented by the blue white here, they're gonna be moving region to region, they're marked here. Once they make it out, you're trying to avoid them making it out. So as the you'll be playing the, the Indian players, you'll be trying to attack them and in this case, the whites will roll some cubes, and the scenario tells you what they what they roll, mainly for defense. And then the Indians. Once they're out, boom, that's what you're trying to accomplish. Same thing they're going to be doing on the southern. You're going to want to have the, the, the wagons moving through, and the AI will take care of it. It's real simple. Every turn, they move. So that's how that, that other scenario works. The last scenario, however, it's a little bit of a twist on everything. Uh, this is real briefly how it's going to look. I believe they're going to be here. Just put something real quick on the board. There's going to be three uh, cavalry uh, troops, forces. You're going to have one starting here. You're going to have one starting off the board there. And you're going to have one starting down here. And they will be slowly. The AI controls the these forces. You will be playing the northern and the southern Indians. And they will slowly, every turn, they will be moving, creeping up towards the Black Hills. The goal here is to defend the Black Hills as the Indian player. If at any point during the game, the cavalry, the U.S. forces are, are in, and there is no more, uh, let's do this one for example, and there is no more Indian forces in play, you as the Indian player loses. So you're trying to get rid of the these troops coming from the east coming from the west and coming from the south uh that one i i find it pretty fun it does move quick and you can pretty much finish this one quick and try it again real quick because there's not much many cubes to be taken care of there's none you're not dealing with all the other stuff as you'll see once you read the rule book you'll see all the other stuff you'll be dealing with like casualties you'll be putting casualties here there for the american player the u.s cavalry and uh, you have to move them in from the casualty to a ready box which is there and then you'll be able to place them out this pretty much just just you your big forces of indians going after this pesky cavalry that is slowly moving up trying to take over the black hills clearing the black hills as it was done historically so th those were the basic scenarios for solo again thanks for watching